before I get too in depth in this commentary, I want to say to one of my subs who sent me in this direction, thank you. I would have never known this interview exists. Um, let me just play it, and then, I, then I'll give you my commentary after. Do the right thing. That's what many are saying to Spike Lee as they call on the famed director to end his new Kickstarter campaign. Now, if you don't know, Kickstarter is a website well, that well, helps. Well, hang well, on, well, hang well, on, well, hang on. Well, We're well, going to well, go there. Why are you open like that? <laughs> why would you open like that? Because we, we, we're all about controversy here. We're going to let you answer in a second. But I get to tell what people, people what the Kickstarter thing is. It's a website. Why would you open like that? That helps artists fund their projects using crowdsourcing. Here's how it works. You make your pitch in a video. You upload it. You hope the idea takes off. It's mostly for up-and-coming novices. So what is an Oscar-nominated director like Spike Lee doing on this set? We thought we'd ask him in person. Well, I would like to refute your opening. But I, I, just tell me. I mean, I you, you've no, got no, a no, lot of money. I, you don't I, need to do all, this. Why all, would you go all, to Kickstarter? All, I think it's interesting. First, it's of all, first of all, you don't know how much money I have. you never seen me before. you never seen me before in your life. So if you would assume... What my, finan what my financial state is, that's wrong. Second of all, I've been doing Kickstarting before there was Kickstarting. So you know how Let me, can I finish? Can I finish, please? Only have six minutes, so I would like to get my voice in. I've been doing Kickstarter before there was Kickstarter. That's how I raised the money for my first one. She's going to have it. So why go to Kickstarter then? If because you know how to raise because, money, why are you going there? Because crowdfunding is the new wave to get financing. Crowdfunding, where okay. you go directly to your base, directly to the people who love She's Gonna Have It, School Days, Do the Right Thing, Malcolm X, uh, He Got Game, Summer of Sam, 20th Hour, Inside Man, Kings of Comedy, Kobe Doing Work. Mm -hmm. That's a body of work that's been amassed over three decades. And I'm going directly to the people. Okay, Let me so think. No, 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 no. I want to know what's finish. different about then and now. So you've done it before. What's different is that the whole Hollywood game has changed. Now studios only want to make tent pole films that can open on the same day globally and make trillions of dollars. This Which, film, by the way, aren't doing well this year, exactly, are they? Exactly. That's the same thing why Spielberg and George Lucas themselves, who you might say created the blockbuster phenomenon, phenomenon said that this path of tent poles is going to collapse the whole Hollywood industry. And that's not me. That's Spielberg and Lucas is saying that. Mm -hmm. so, so, this this, is so, so therefore, you. when I want to do my new film coming out Thanksgiving week is Old Boy. That's a studio film. Josh Brolin and Sam Jackson. This is a film that is an independent film. I'm an independent filmmaker. So I'm appealing to my... So what did you do? I'm going appealing to my base okay. going to Kickstarter.com <laughs> to pledge as little as five dollars to help me get hey, my new there, right? to get my you new gotta, you're a third to, of the get, way there? to get my new film made. You we, need one and a quarter million. Yes. And you're you're the third of the way there. We're gonna make it. Much to your chagrin, we will make it, people. Hey, so don't worry about her. So we're not, don't, worry about, like, don't worry about I'm haters like don't worry about haters like her. Oh, we're goodness. gonna get there. I am all for you making this film. You're, I'm you're trying not, to understand why you you, you cannot, you cannot no, 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 be no, no, no. my film if you open I up a segment like is that. A very that, interesting that is pure hate. That was no, pure hate. I'm sorry, no. Trish. But let, I'll tell you something. I, hate conquers these love. These are the concerns of hate some people out there. Fist. Spike, that so is what? my job. This so is not my concern. Hey, it's the people, concern people of the people concern out there. That when Do the Right Thing release, <laughs> black people run them up and riot. So what does that mean? I am voicing the concern of what some have said. Some. Okay? you got to be able to take the criticism, right? Oh, I'm taking it. I, so I'm, I just not want, gonna I'm not going to sit here to and just let you say that stuff without me refuting it. Okay, so let, let me ask you. Uh, this is effectively something that you say you've been doing for a long time, right. just going directly to people. Is the difference this time that it's actually kind of in a public sphere, that it's over a computer where anyone yes. can be yes. part of it? This and that's what makes it exciting. Yes, we're talking about technology, we're talking about social media. When I was trying to raise yes. $175,000, but she's going to have it way back in 1985 where we had to keep our save with empty soda cans and bottles for nickel deposit, there was no internet. And by
by the way, you made seven million dollars on that film. Yes, that was that, that, that was, was a home run. That's what that was. Nineteen eighty-six. That world is gone. Is gone. Steve, Steven Steven who pledged ten thousand right. dollars to this project, he said he's not going to work in Hollywood anymore. He said he's just going to do work doing cable movies. The whole industry has changed. Are we? So, so well, we have to be able, so me, to, be able to adapt. I, 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 I agree with you. What about those, however, that are complaining that you're taking money from the smaller artists? First that of all, that's not true. That's not that. true. I'm bringing people to Kickstarter who never heard of Kickstarter, who never, ever, ever pledged before. And the two of the cases, there's data that says Veronica Mars, who raised yeah. five, five and a half million dollars, and Zach Braff. They, they brought new people to Kickstarter. And so, therefore, this narrative that I'm hurting the small independent filmmaker is not true. Is this well, a new well, you're going to new guys. guys. I mean, you're finding first, new guys. Let's just say something real quick. I know we got time. Why would I be a professor at NYU for 15 years to graduate film school? Why would I be a prof the artistic director at NYU if I didn't care about young filmmakers? I'm a professor. Since 1989, let me finish. Since 1989, I have given out $300,000 to my students through the Spike Lee Production Fund. That is not an act of someone who's trying to squish out young filmmakers. Um, you know, the, I'm, I'm going to have to... Do the to, right thing. That's what many are saying. To sorry about that. I'm going to have to go with Spike on here. Spike has redeemed himself with me just with this interview. First of all, I've heard about Kickstarter maybe a year and a half ago. When I first heard about Zach Braff. Now, if y'all don't know who Zach Braff is, you remember the show Scrubs? He played the white guy next to, wasn't the black guy, Donald Faison or whatever his name? And he was on a successful show, making good money. He was in movies, and he went to the studios, and they um, wouldn't... Um, Greenlight won his film, so he said, I'm going to go to Kickstarter to, to, to get my stuff started. And he nobody complained. Uh, we just saw what was uh, what's his name, Rob Thomas, the creator of Veronica Mars. Now, I, I like Veronica Mars. And they got money like lickety split. Aaron Magruder of Boondocks fame wanted to do an Uncle Ruckus film, and I don't know if he made, met his, uh, his goal. But I want to see that. And I enjoy Spike Lee films. Now, I ain't going to lie to y'all. When Spike went out and defended, um, what's his name? What's that, that, that basketball player? I can't think of his name. Jason Collins. I was disappointed that Spike went out there and did that. But watching how people reacted to Spike and try to tell him he shouldn't do what he's doing is hypocritical. See, this is what I tell y'all in my videos. When black people start learning how to game the system like other people do, that's when people have an issue. Spike is not taking money from other directors. It's up to people like you and I who want to give our money. Like, just for shits and giggles, I think I'm going to donate $20 to this film. And if it gets made, it gets made. If it don't, you get the money back. See, this is see that white woman, she was she was incensed that how dare this nigger use something that's only for other people. See, when white people do it, it's cool. Black people, this is why I keep talking about YouTube. When blacks was just on here wasn't making videos and leaving comments, it was cool with it. Then when blacks started using the net and shit, now people are trying to block us and stop us. I don't blame Spike for doing this. The studio does not want to give Spike the money he need to make the big budget pictures. I would love to see Spike do bigger pictures. And people need to remember, like Spike said, he's always had to go around raising money. A lot of people forget the studio didn't give him the budget for Malcolm X. If it wasn't for black celebrities, we would never got Malcolm A. And actually, Malcolm was would have, X would have been longer. But the studio did not want to put people the risk that people would walk out of the movie. That's why it was so condensed. A lot of things were left out. But you see how that bitch was acting? I didn't see her. And Steven Soderbergh, who directed Ocean's Eleven and his following sequels, gave Spike Lee $10,000. And I saw the interview with George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. And they said there's nothing wrong with Kickstarter because think about every movie. 
Every movie is a blockbuster. I remember when a movie did five million, six million. That was good money. That was that means it made money. Now, if these movies don't bring in sixty-three million open a weekend, or they could, uh, or more, they consider it a flop. The Wolverine movie just came out. I think it made fifty something million or forty something million. They said it's a flop. And this stuff started, I, actually, it started before Steve, no, after Steven Spielberg. I mean, start, at, in the 70s, when those movies was making money, 7, 8, 10 million is a lot of money. It wasn't until 1989 when they did the Batman movie, when they did all the merchandise. And from that time on, every movie had to open big. Superman Returns opened big. But guess what? It made 300-something million. In, in, uh, I and mean, I think that's like American. I don't know if it's just in America or worldwide, but they considered that a flop. It made more money than Batman Begins. What it is, they, they what it is, they don't want Spike making no movies. They don't want to sit here and say, wait a minute, he got or look, they said the same shit about Tyler Perry. Nobody will go see your movies. We have to remember back in the 90s how they used to fuck up with ticket sales. Remember, you go buy a ticket to go see a Spike Lee movie or Mario Ventis. Remember when New Jack City came out? You went in to go get a ticket for New Jack City. You got a ticket for Misery. You went to go get um, 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 Lean On Me. You got some other movie. See, this is what they do. And see, Spike said, you know what? Since the studio won't do it, I'm going to go ask my fans. And that's better that way. And guess what? You might be able to get in bigger venues or smaller venues. As many black directors there are, they, they do not want them. It was not a lot, but it's enough out there to direct movies. I'm going to tell you something. They'll give Lee Daniels a project like the butler. Because he's a feminized black man willing to keep doing those type of projects. Spike Lee body of work is diverse. How many people knew he directed Inside Man with Jodie Foster and Clive Owens? These motherfuckers think they slick, but this bitch was nasty. And I don't blame Spike. Now, he, you see the white guy? He wasn't nasty. Basically, the white guy was saying, this is a new way of doing things. And she going to say, you got money. That's the first thing they say to a black person. What you need doing this for? Like Spike... Spike Lee's older than be her fucking father. Spike Lee's closer than 60 years, just being 60 years old than anything. See, the problem is, is when we learn how to game the system, now it's different sets of rules. Nobody uh, 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 said to the uh, producer of Veronica Mars, creator of Veronica Mars, why you need to go to Kickstarter. Studios don't want to give that kind of money to a smaller uh, 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 venue. They want mega millions. This is why you're going to see number comic book movies or movies like that for the next five or six years until one of them becomes such a mega flop. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna stop. Like if you keep getting a bunch of Long Rangers, watch them go back to start making small movies again. And people need to remember Spike Lee, the one that leached the, the um, young directors and shit to go out there and do what they was doing. There are a lot of black directors out here that, that that was directing great product and didn't get get the recognition they deserve. And, and then you know how she threw out Oscar nominated. Any other time they don't mention about his Oscar. He was nominated. Spike ain't won an Oscar. Spike should at least have three or four Oscars by now. This woman was nasty and condescending, and the white guy sitting next to her, he knew it. And I don't blame. And the first thing she went, she touched Spike like, "There, there, my pet nigger." <laughs> 